Hello, and welcome back to 2230, your source for in-depth discussions on the latest news and policies impacting the Asian region. Today, we're diving into a significant development in Singapore's housing landscape that directly affects single Singaporeans. Recently, Associate Professor Jameis Lim, a Workers' Party Member of Parliament, shed light on the challenges faced by single Singaporeans when it comes to securing BTO flats under the existing HDB policies. Under the current system, individuals must wait until the age of 35 to apply for a new flat, and this policy has unintended consequences for those caring for elderly parents. For many, it means sharing cramped spaces or entering the more expensive resale market, where they might be excluded from financial support schemes. The Workers' Party and Senkang MP Louis Chua have expressed concerns about these policies, suggesting that the age eligibility for BTO flats should be lowered to 28. In response to these concerns, Prime Minister Li Xianlong announced a significant change. Singles aged 35 and above will soon be able to apply for new two-room housing board flats in any location. Minister for National Development Desmond Lee has confirmed plans to launch up to 14,000 two-room flexi-flats over the next three years, representing a substantial 30% increase compared to the previous three years. This is a major step toward addressing the housing needs of singles and the elderly in Singapore. It's also encouraging to see that the government is actively engaging with singles to understand their housing preferences, considering innovative options like co-living and intergenerational housing. However, this is a complex issue with no one-size-fits-all solution. While these changes are promising, it's essential to continue the conversation. Do you think the new age requirement of 35 is the right move, or should it be lowered further, as proposed by MP Louis Chua? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this matter. Drop your comments down below, give us a like if you found this video informative, share it with your friends who might be interested in Singapore's housing policies, and don't forget to subscribe to 2230 for more engaging discussions on Asian news and politics. Your support keeps the conversation going.